Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I am at the Desert Christ Park in the town of Yucca Valley, California. There is the front entrance. So I'm going to go through and show you what you'll find here. You can see their website, Desert christpark.org Hello. Hello. We're trying to do a little repair work. Yeah, it looks like this had a little mishap with the hand here. Oh, this one was in very bad shape. Her face was completely off, and you know the earthquake did a lot of damage to the small. Oh, is that what it was? Back in '92, and then there was plenty of of just not caregiving, and then there was, of course, uh, vandalism. So yeah. So we've been real pleased that we're able to make a little progress on them now. Oh, that's good. We've been able to repair Giant Jesus' hand. If you get over there, you'll see why well, I call him Giant Jesus. Okay. Because he's the biggest one. But, uh, so we hopefully can... Is this place owned by the church over here? No, no. It's just a little private foundation. It's a non-profit. There's only eight of us that volunteer. And then when, it, when our friends come for the weekend, we make them work. And when my son comes for the weekend, I make him work. <laughs> okay, good. I'm just going to walk around and look. Yeah, please make yourself at home. Um, I'm sorry to say there's no brochures up there. We had such a busy weekend, and I don't have any to share with you. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. You know, if you go online at all, if you do that, there's there's more information. And they're real active on Facebook now, I understand. I'm not, but they are. So. Okay, thank you. One of the other eight of us. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of interesting. It'll show you the history enough that you'll know the first one, the how it was brought up here in 1951. The kiosk is is up over in that area. You can't see through the, past the well. And how the, the first one is up on the hill over there, and they brought it up in 1951. And then the, the sculptor spent 10 years living here and building the rest of them before he passed. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was 66 years ago. I know exactly. Because that's the year I was born. <laughs> Me too. You too? What month were you born? January. In January. And they started this in April oh. of that year. So we know how old, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, we know what can happen to things. Sure. <laughs> Have a good All these statues are pure white, as you can tell. There are no signs here, though, saying who these people are supposed to be. So I don't know if they're biblical people or if they're just statues of random faces. There's, there may be a guide tell you if these people are supposed to have names 
I'll have to check into that. But there are no signs below the statues saying anything at all about any of these. This one says Sermon on the Mount. So obviously this would be Jesus giving the Sermon on the Mount. So I think there must be some kind of a guidebook to go along with touring the statues. Oh, so obviously these are people <laughs> listening to the Sermon on the Mount. That's why they're all faced this way. And we are up on a mount. Just, you can see the city of Yucca Valley over there. That's a wise old man. So that's about it for all the statues that I can see. I may have missed a few. Up on the hill there, there is one more much higher up. You'd have to climb up to and then across right there. So again, this is in the city of Yucca Valley which is just a few miles from the city of Joshua Tree, where my last video, I showed you the Noah Purifoy Outdoor Museum. So if you're in this area, just then stop by and see both of these outdoor museums. So if this has given you an idea of something to do when you're in the area, good day, folks.